Some common mistakes I've seen people make on invitations is not having families or parents review the wording on the invitations. You know, usually your invitations start off with what's known as the host line. So you definitely really want to be sensitive to that because parents may have an expectation or an opinion about how their names should be addressed and which order should go first. And also if you're dealing with any special situations such as divorced or remarried parents, you definitely want to make sure that that you cover the proper wording to address everyone appropriately. Triple, quadruple check, make sure all the details are correct, your venue location, the date, the time, spelling, punctuation, all of those things. There's a lot of amazing resources online to help you know what the proper punctuation and wording and order that goes on an uh, invitation card. I would also say one really good advice is to have your dress code on the invitation because it's very helpful for your guests to understand what to expect and the formality level of the wedding. Always, always make sure to have the proper titles for all of your guests. These are known as honorifics. So you want to make sure that you address your guests correctly, whether it's Mr., Miss., Mrs., Dr., the Honorable, you want to make sure all that stuff is properly collected. You know, you don't just say the first name of your guest or a nickname. You want to properly address all of your guests. Another really good tip I have is to put a wedding website on your invitation as well. Don't feel like you have to put everything on your invitation. If you have a lot of information to convey to your guests, for example, in a destination wedding where you want to talk about hotel recommendations or activities to do in the area, don't feel like you have to put that on an invitation. It should not be on an invitation, actually. Put that on your wedding website. And a wedding website is also really good because that's probably the best way to tell your guests if you have a gift registry or any other special instructions like that. You definitely do not want to mention anything about gifts on your wedding invitation. Leave that for the website. It's very easy to create a wedding website these days. Have a tab that says what your registry is. You just never want to have any mention of any type of gifts or gift instructions on your wedding invitation. It's considered really poor etiquette to do that. Thank you.